Okay, thank you, Patrick, for um, coming to talk with us again at corecurl.net. So what was the single most important piece of advice that you gave Serena coming into this U.S. Open? Well, first of all, it's a very special U.S. Open for many reasons. The first one is that she has a chance to achieve a Grand Slam, a calendar slam, which means winning the four Grand Slams in a row. She can uh, also uh, win her 22nd Grand Slam, which means uh, the same amount of, um, of titles uh, in Grand Slams as Steffi Graf. So the, big, the, the biggest of the, the Open era. Mm -hmm. She would win her seventh US Open and fourth in a row. And seven is the, also the record. So, so many records and, uh, and some records that uh, you can do, I mean, that haven't been done since 27 years, like the calendar Sam, for example. So there is an incredible mm. pressure on her on that tournament. She has so much to win if she, ma if she makes it. It's, uh, I mean, it's historical. And to answer your first question uh, about uh, the advice, it's not, it's not really an advice, but I try to make her feel that uh, I mean, I try to to, her, to help her get rid of that pressure by uh, by uh, taking a bit of distance. You know, what she's achieved already is amazing, incredible, and if she, whether she makes it or not, it's not going to change her career. So, does she always agree with you? Does she always follow your advice? And if she doesn't, what do you do about it? Do you, what do you do to convince her that you're right? Um, First of all, I'm always right. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, yes, she, she trusts me. She follows me because I think we have a great relationship. We trust each other. I also trust her a lot. Uh, and I think it's a key for working well with any player. You know, I always say that my first goal when I work with someone is to gain the confidence of the player, to feel that the player completely trusts me and then I can really start to work. So, no, there is no, I mean, we never had a fight. We never had a disagreement. Uh, I think she really trusts me. Uh, she does everything when I ask her to do it because, she, I mean, she follows me. But also I follow her. I follow her also because she has a lot of experience about herself, about what she's doing, what she, how she should prepare and stuff like that. So we really work together closely and we don't have that kind of problem. What would you say you've learned about yourself as a coach? I mean, you, you've taught Serena a lot, but what have you learned about yourself from her coaching her? Honestly, I didn't really learn something. No, 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 I'm serious. <laughs> this is not cocky. I, I'm trying to explain. Um, I mean, I had an idea of, of how the champions were, uh, how they were thinking, how they were acting, and it's just Serena completely confirmed what I thought. Uh, like, the, how professional she is, that's really amazing. The way she thinks, she really thinks like a champion. She's always... Uh, she always wants more. She's never satisfied. Those things that make a champion, mm -hmm. uh, she has. And that's what I thought, and she just confirmed all of this. And so I didn't learn that, but I mean, it's, a, it's good to see it, to feel it uh, day after day. What do you think that, you know, is that what she learned from you then to kind of bring that champion out in her? Is that the, less, the greatest lesson she might have gotten from you or the best? Um, that has come out of your relationship is is that that she has become this great champion I think she was already a great champion before simply I think <clears throat> because of because I know her so well and I know how to to deal with her to I, I find a way probably to make her do much better mm. I mean she already had 13 grand slams when I started with her mm. But uh, she's so much more consistent. She's winning much more regularly. She's been number one for now two years and a half, and it's the longest, uh, longest number of weeks at number one by far. So I think she's become much more consistent. She's be become much more focused. I think uh, we motivate each other, and I think it's very important. And I mean, of course, she plays for herself, but she also plays because she wants me to be proud of what she's doing because we both are so motivated. So we, I think we, we just lift each other all the time. So, I mean, it's not about lessons. I, I don't feel like a teacher that teaches lessons. My goal is to completely understand my player and then find a way to, to take the best out of her every day and make her achieve her goals. So considering everything that, you know, she's achieved and you have achieved with her, are you still setting goals or are you just going, you know, having fun, enjoying it a little bit more now? Yeah, I think it's, I mean, it's more than important to have goals. You know?
know, when you go uh, on a tennis court every day to practice and you're supposed to give everything you have to progress, to make progresses, if you don't have a really, really high goal that you believe in, it's, I think you don't do, you, impossible to do right. So after she's won so much and she was having like 14, then 15, then 16 Grand Slams, I told her, okay, now we, you have to beat Chris Evert and, and uh, Martina Navratilova's record. So that was really the goal. As soon as it was done, we set up Steffi. I mean, the idea that I brought to the table was to make history. I told her she was probably the best of all times and it was important to show it with the, with the highest records. And, and I, I believe she could do it. And, uh, and she believed it too. So that's the goal. So once the record of Steffi will be beaten, we'll see. It's a good problem to have. <laughs> You know, we met uh, not too long ago at your academy, or your academy to be soon to be built academy, and we're all very excited to find out when the grand opening is. The official opening is in June, so next June 2016. But we already we are already on site. We already have all the course ready, the indoors. We have the hotel with the spa, with the the fitness. So we have everything to work. Um, in September we'll have 130 players every day practicing there, working there with a lot of pros also, with a, a group of uh, very talented young players. So we're on site, we're already working, it's not to totally finished, we, we're building something really, really big the, yeah. with a medical center, with, a, with housing inside the academy, with a school inside the academy for the moment. Those things are outside, but not so far, but outside. So it's, it's going to take a few more months, but, uh, but we are already ready to work. <laughs> Excellent. Can't wait. Good luck to you with the Academy and this tournament with Serena. And we wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much.